Hello everyone, welcome back to Positron Plays Darkest Dungeon. I think today we'll go after the Apprentice Necromancer. Take Aximand, Carmilla, I want to check Carmilla's resistances. High death blow resistance, relatively high trap resistance, that's pretty good. Uh, we'll take Dr. House. And we'll take, I think we're going to take Bostel, or do we want to take Kate? Hmm. Maybe we'll take Kate instead of Bostel, and I'll actually train her up before we go. I'm a little concerned because they both have some stress. Uh, I want her to have Dazzling Light. And let's see, take Judgment, Dazzling Light, Divine Grace. Um, do I want Divine Comfort or Illumination? I think we'll just take... No, we should take Divine, we should take Illumination in case she ever ends up in the front. Yeah, we'll do that. Alright, so it'll be... Aximand, Carmilla, Dr. House, and Kate. This would be a very uh, control-heavy party. I want to take a lot of food. We got a long journey. If I get extra, I can just use it. Uh, I'll take a fair amount of torches. A couple shovels. I definitely don't want to deal with that stuff. I want to have as much health and as little stress as possible. A couple of keys and a couple of holy waters. Um, I don't think I'm gonna take any medicinal herbs. I just don't know how to use them well enough. And we'll go with this. Spent a lot of money. Mastery over life and death was chief among my early pursuits. I began in humility, but my ambition was limitless. Who could have divined the prophetic import of something as unremarkable as a twitch in the leg of a dead rat? So, our job here is to find the Necromancer. Now, chances are he's probably in the lower left, but we're really going to have to explore everything, I think, just to be sure. I would hate to go all the way to the end and find out he's actually just, like, you know, next to me. Big thing here will be stress management and using our camp wisely. Starting off with tempting goblets is never a good thing. So let's see. Uh, pick to the face or. Yeah, pick to. Ooh, so actually surprised I missed. We go for a stun on one of these guys? Oh, but this is a terrible start, actually. There we go, probably stun the two in the back. Good, good. Fortunately, Aximan is pretty slow, so it's tough getting going, but we should have enough control to hold out in the meantime. And once he does start attacking, he'll take things out pretty quickly. Carmela should have a little bit better of a crit chance, but I might have to build that up. I think I'll just go for the kill here. Ah, should have gone for the stun. Now I'll go for the kill, yeah. I also discovered, um, I, I kind of knew this, but I wasn't 100% sure and I confirmed it now that, um, that was what I was hoping for, though, not the dodge. Uh, status effects stack. All status effects stack, including bleed and blight. So if you just keep casting bleed and blight, it adds to the tick and it resets the counter. So if you've got one tick of blight left for two damage a piece, and you hit it with another one, it'll go up to four damage a piece for another three turns. As the fiend falls, a faint hope blossoms. Well, let's see. 
And we'll have the doctor read. Lasting effect. Clotter. Plus 15% bleed resist. That's actually really good. I don't know if there's an item you can use with the books, although now that I think about it, I wonder if it's a uh, torch. You know, you better reading light. How quickly Ooh, that crit is turns. terrible. Alright, that should be all their turns. We should be able to kill them in one round, basically. I'm not gonna bother stunning, I don't think. Press this advantage. Give them no quarter. And zealous accusations should finish both of them? Wow, that was a really weak zealous accusation, actually. Well, we'll get one here at least. Unfortunately, it's going into the turn. But we dodge, good. And this should finish it off. Actually, I might as well take a heal because we're gonna get another turn before it goes again. I think. Yeah. There we go. Remind yourself that overconfidence is a slow. Now that's always risky because there is no, you know, there is no visible turn order, but you can kind of keep track of it in your head to an extent. Wow, we already have a hunger event. That's surprising. In Radiance, may we find victory. Now, I definitely want to find as much loot as possible, but I don't want to take any unnecessary risks either. Ah, suit of armor, interesting. Now, again, the Necromancer is unlikely to be in that northern point, but I think if we don't go there, it's, we run a very, very unfortunate risk. Zealous might take out both. The good hit. Wow, man, that's not very hard at all. Nice. There we go. A powerful blow. Just take out the rabble. Yep. Should be able to take out the arbalist. Well, it'll be close. No. This should though. Yeah. There we go. All right, one left. Now this is actually another chance where, uh... Yeah, why is Axeman's damage so low? His base damage is 6 to 12, but it's listing his damage as 3 to 6. Minus 6... Oh, wait, hold on. Yeah, that's really strange. It's only 4 to 7 on Zealous Accusation. That's actually really low. I'm not sure why. Well, we're not actually going to get any uh, heals done here, but I was going to try to stun and hold off for a heal. This expedition at least Let's see a Hellstone. Plus 10% max HP, but minus 10% stress resist. Plus 20% to stun and blight skills, but minus stun resist and minus... Oh, it's... Highwaymen only, that's too bad. That would be great for the doctor. Uh, we're gonna take all these things, but I'm probably just gonna throw out some of these because I'm not gonna be able to carry them. And I'm not gonna use them either, I don't think. Minus 10% stress resist, but plus 10% max HP. How much HP is house had? That would give us another 2 HP. I don't really think it's worth it. Suit of armor, plus 10 dodge, plus 10% protection. I don't know how long that lasts. Hopefully a long time. Oh, that surprise is actually terrible. It was a full party flip. And I don't have... Uh, I don't have the lance for Axeman.
Could you have minus dodge on this guy? <laughs> and he, he dodged, of course. Oh, I can't use the stun because house is, uh, well, oh man, he dodged the disorient too. This is I'm not having good luck on this mission so far. Tempting Goblin on Kate is bad. She's already high stress. And I think they're specifically targeting her too. She's already up to 81. Now, she's basically going to be the point at which we need to decide when to use our camp. If she keeps getting hit with that, she's going to force us to use the camp much earlier. Good dodges. Uh, I think we just move him back and take out one of these guys. There we go. I'm glad I went for that. It was exactly eight. Now, we don't have to go all the way. If things aren't looking good, then we'll just retreat. Dodges are brutal, though. Should be a blight? Yeah. Won't quite die in the next turn, but it'll be close. Wow, that crit. Yeah, that stress is uh, not good. Forty years gotta die. I can't afford another tempting goblet. Basically, I was kind of hoping that would leave him at one health, but that's okay. A trifling victory. Not a victory. Yeah, and if I need to eat, I can eat. It's just not ideal. Get our torch up. Now I want to be on the lookout for a prayer booth, or a confession booth, and. Uh, statues and things. We can use those to reduce stress by a significant amount. I also didn't reorder our party properly, but I think this setup still works. There we go. That's what I was hoping for. Get that guy in the back. Should be able to actually finish him off on this turn. Oh, I can't reach him with that? Hmm, I don't think that'll kill either. Ah, it was worth a shot. That dodge hurts. Kate should be able to finish him off, and she'll get a little bit of healing. Another crit? <laughs> that's that's quite the opposite of a crit. Very very bad that I didn't reorder the party for this fight though. Good good hit. I'll go for the Judgment again. I think instead of healing her, in most cases, if I can do a Judgment instead, it's definitely a better option. It's almost as much healing, but it also has the damage component. A nice. Blow. I was thinking of moving, him, moving her, excuse me. But, uh, that would have been a poor choice. Again, I'm going to go for the stun that missed. Well, I actually didn't expect that to one-shot, but it did. As victories Get a ring. Ah, the sun so ring. The sun ring is really good, because I'm always at above 75%, or 75% light. So I'll give that to Axeman. He needs the accuracy and damage. And let's see. What's in the chest? It's unlocked. Ah, we don't have enough room for the gold already. That's unfortunate. Uh, I think that's... Uh, we're just gonna have to leave it for now. Alright, one more room in this direction. If this is the Necromancer here, I'd be very surprised, but it might be to our benefit. Wow, I have to eat again already. Got a hungry group here. That trap is bad. Yeah, it's a lot of stress. Alright, so this path is clear. And when we get to that next intersection, I think that's when uh, I use the camp and try to prepare for the remainder.
keeping a close eye on torches. I do wish there was a torch hotkey, but I think developer was talking about potentially doing something with that, so that's pretty good. The way is lit. The path is clear. Yeah, an empty crate doesn't really cost you anything. Only the strength All right, to here we it. go. Combat time. Oh, surprised again. Man. Surprises are tough. I don't think it mixed us up too much, though we're going to have to move house back here. I feel like I didn't reorder my party again, too, which is really bad on my part. 90% chance, yep. Uh, go for the kill here. Good. That damage is already paying off. Almost. You don't often see the Vestal crit. I wonder if they have a crit debuff. Well, that puts everybody back in order now, I think. Uh, I think just going for the kill is most important here. And here's a good example. If I can get the stuns to happen, then I'll take some time to heal. They have moderate stun resistance. There we go. Good, five. And probably finish it off. Nope, nope, not quite. There we go. These nightmare Another holy water. Can be felt. Ooh, they can that be we do want to make room for. Um, wow, that was only stacked to six, huh? Yeah. I think I'll just discard my bandages. I really don't want to just use the food yet. Another suit of armor, good. Start changing out my strategy a bit too. Getting those back units down right away is usually incredibly important here. It's gonna be a lot of damage on him. He's okay. There we go, now we can get the stun. He's also very slow, I've noticed. Alright, go for the kill on the Bone Soldier? Wow, that was a big hit. Uh, this Arbalist should die. Yep, yep, good, good. Got a heal house. Four, not bad, out of five. Uh, might be able to go for the kill on the Arbos, but I think we'll go for the stun instead. Make them skip a whole round, essentially. Nope, resisted. Axe Blade is fine, as long as it's not dead weight. Alright, whose turn we got next? Wow, that thing went two in a row, huh? Alright, one damage, that's fine. And just the defender left. I think we could go for a heal here as opposed to doing any damage or stunning. That's what I was hoping for. Get the stun? Nope. Damn. I think the blight will kill him next turn. Eh, it'll be close. That'll kill him though. Wealth beyond measure. Don't have room for a torch, that's pretty funny. Go for the buff on Axeman again. Just the less we have to heal him, the better. On we go. Alright, one more room, I think, and then we'll camp. Good dodge on the trap. Uh, I'm gonna try the torch on the bookcase. No effect. Oh, holy water on a bookcase. No effect. How about just... You know what? We're gonna have House read it. Forever changes. Warrior of Light. Above... Uh, light above 75 plus 10% damage. Wow. Okay, I was getting a ton of positive effects here. 
Uh, the reason I didn't go for it with Kate is that if she got a unsettling passage, the stress would have potentially put her right over the edge. A blazing star is born. All right, we get some combat here. No surprise. That's good. Stressful incantation is concerning. Double stun? Ah, I only got one. Ooh, that misses. Not good. I was hoping for a crit there. These guys have got to get go or get stunned very quickly or gonna run into problems. Good dodge. Uh, should be able to take out the Bone Soldier. Yes, okay, that moves them up, good. Yeah, that's, this is my concern. Oh, Such and it crit, that's so bad. She's gonna go over the edge. Answered. She's irrational. Oh, she's eating her verse book, oh, that's good. Now, I can't remember if afflictions have a chance to go away during camping. They might. Oh, man, that crit is terrible. About to break. He's going to hit death's door. This is going south real fast. Got to heal Axe Man. Don't want him to go hit death's door. All right, just the, uh, it's a brawler, yeah. Oh, she's got to do something on her own. Oh, she marked herself, fan, wonderful, thanks. At least she's not skipping turns, that's something. Confident is taking me. Injury and despondence. Set the stage for heroism. All right, we just gotta get out of this battle. I'm not even gonna try to do the stun thing. Oh, that dodge hurts because it's gonna get another turn now, right? Nope. Okay. Good. Oh, thank goodness. Even the pigs of Saint Martha's can carry a tune. Stressing everyone out, lady. Laden with loot. All right, what's in this chest? Do we need to use key on it. Yeah. Don't have enough room for the crests. Well, I think now I eat all of this food. Take this, and then we camp. Huddled together. Eat the max. And vulnerable. Rats in a maze. Now she's still Yeah, she's still irrational. Let's see if anybody has the ability to remove afflictions. That does happen. Just uncommon. Well, I think we go for Unshakable Leader, everybody gets Stress Resist. I think we give Preventative Medicine, Blight, Bleed, and Disease Resist to Aximand. As far as I know, any buffs in camp last for the rest of the mission. There's something to be said about camping right away, but... Um, go for stress reduction. Who's scouting chance? I don't think it's really important. Could go for the mass stress heal here. Oh, it's one companion. Plus four for mass stress heal. Let's try it. Okay. Uh, I don't think Carmilla is religious. Could go for the wound care. Oh, can't be used on himself. Maybe it's time to. Maybe I should go for the stress resist. Oh boy. Yeah, I'll do it. I'm gonna rest. Things are going according to plan. I don't know about that.
As the light gains purchase, spirits are lifted, and purpose is made clear. We didn't get ambushed, so... Now, I think there's almost no chance that... Oh, if only we had found this sooner. I mean, I'll do it anyway, but... It leaves the hero. She still has the affliction, though. That trap sucks. Wow, is, is the trap maker's art? Really it's damaging trap. Unwitnessed by his own eyes. Oh, we got scouting. Hmm, the necromancer actually could be south. So I'm gonna have to try it. Let's try. Uh, let's open this locked case. Literally a lot of treasure. Gotta pick up that ruby, bubbles. though. Do I take Pay the risk on just blood. using up the rest of our food? I think so. And if we have to eat again, well, probably time to abandon at that point. Maggots. Maggots can be a pain. A lot of stun potential. Like that. Uh, it's gotta go for kills here, I think. Nope, not quite. Damn, <laughs> leaving it seems like one health. Good dodge. I just realized that house is still in the wrong uh, position there. That's my fault. Two kills? Good. About time that paid off. Good dodge. Unfortunately, the accuracy on these guys is not so great. And one left. Oh my god, that dodge. There we go. Finally switch them back, and we'll see what's in this door. I'm actually gonna use another torch. The light, the promise of safety. It is not the Necromancer. Alright. That's unfortunate. Oh, she just cut herself. Well, that's fantastic. And missed. Man, that, that is a crazy hit. Oh, dear Kate, hold it together. Actually missed one in the back there. <laughs> yeah, he kind of deserves that criticism. All right, good. Moves them up. Tempting goblin axe. Oh, man, a crit, really? Oh, this could put him in death's door. Another crit. Holy cow! Single strike. I definitely don't want to lose him, either. Alright, he's still alive. Mother was children. Oh my god. Alright, gotta get that heal in there. I think, uh... I think if we make it out of this, we get a bail. That should stun? Yep. Um, I'm actually gonna go for the stun here, and it missed. That's bad. Empty goblet on Kate. What more can you do to her? One short of the kill again. Um, this should kill, I assume. Yep. All right, good. Dead weights. Another crit. Oh my goodness. Lapse in concentration. X Men's been crit like three times in a row. He's getting close to the breaking point too.
Don't hit him. Good dodge. Um, I'm not sure I can get the kill here, so I might just go for the stun. Get back into position. Resisted. Yeah, otherwise he's a 10% stun resist too. Alright, gotta heal Axe Man again. He can't be at death's door. Cannot afford to lose him. Stack up that blight. Pretty sure it'll die next turn. There is no escape. Good hit. Yeah, the boy finished him off. The bigger the beast, the greater the glory. One more attack should do it. There'll be no mother superior otherwise. And she hurt herself again. Well, this has all gone terribly. Uh, I'm gonna just toss this shovel because we're not going much further here. Try to unlock it. I meant no effect. Huh, <laughs> maybe I was supposed to use a shovel there. Hidden treasures. Alright, uh, we're never gonna survive against the Necromancer if we get there, so. Time to abandon. Everybody's gonna get pretty stressed out by that, but there's not much we can do about it. That was a very costly mission. Fortunately, we did get a lot of gold back. And a fair amount of materials. I don't think we got any portraits, though, which we're sorely lacking. A lot of materials. <laughs> got 32 crests during that. That's kind of crazy. Everybody got new traits, huh? Axeman gets thin blooded. Carmilla gets gambler. House gets Slayer Ma House is just like crazy. Kate gets gift of the healer. That's actually pretty good. United Night of the Town recovered. Ferrer's recovered. Alright, you all need to go chill out. After seeing troubling behavior, we not take part in prayer activity in town. I'm not quite sure what that means. No, I've seen troubling and unspeakable things in there. Huh. Maybe that has to do with her own affliction. Well, she should meditate on that. And on creases. Actually, can afford to boost this up quite a bit. However desperate, is never without worth. We have so many crests. Kind of crazy, actually. Let's see. House. Can go for pretty much anything. Carmilla will only gamble. Let's go check that out first. Can we upgrade that at all? It takes portraits. Yeah, I'll do it. Let's see, Aximand has a ton of debuffs. Yikes. Send him for praying. And we'll upgrade that. Gilded icons and dogmatic rituals. For some. Let's see, House will go to the brothel. The bloodshed. Can't afford to upgrade that, but it's already been upgraded a couple of times. Let's see, who else is in need here? I think we have one place left. Um, I don't think anybody really needs it. I don't think it's really worth the money, so... What do we have for new... A couple of new Crusaders here. Nocturnal I don't like at all. I always keep light up, so we're not going to recruit that guy. Uh, Adonel has minus dodge. That's actually pretty bad. What's dodge base for a crusader? Yeah, let's see. It's already on the Lund. Definitely don't want light sensitive. 
Might take another Vestal, though we've already got three. Does have the extra dodge, though. Yeah, maybe I will. You can always a sister of tell someone to take a hike if we need to. And unrelenting. All right, so that'll do it for this episode. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, click like. Helps out a lot. Subscribe if you want to see more. Next time, we'll maybe go for the Necromancer again. See you soon.